everybody. It's good to be back. I have not really been gone. I've just been busy. Um, just wanted to say hello and tell you guys about some things that are going on here. I don't have a whole lot of things on YouTube about our Soul Glue class. I don't know if I've said too much about it in any of the videos, but we have a new class that I've been slowly adding in. At first it was once a month, and then we kind of took a break for a few months during the holidays because I didn't have a lot of people attending, and I felt like I just needed to take a break from it and revisit it later. And um, I decided the this last couple times I've done it, right at the end of the school year, we had, we had one in April, and then we had one in May, and they were so well attended and so much fun, and I just felt really good about it, and I wanted to, to kind of push it along. And I thought if we had more than one a month, maybe people would be more motivated because I know for me personally, if I was interested in a class that was only once a month, it would not feel like it was worth going once a month. I feel like there needs to be more of it. So I've added a second one. And all through the summer, we have two classes. Um, we just had one this morning. We have another one on the 23rd of June. This is the year 2018, in case you didn't check the date when you're watching this. I don't know if it's going to be on there forever, I guess. Um, July 2018, we have a class on the 7th and the 21st, and then in August, the 11th and the 25th. Um, so if you have an opportunity to come, if you are a person who is a Christian and you want to get your praise and your sweat on at the same place, you can come see me if you're a person who is not really sure what you think about Jesus, um, but you like to do fitness and you want to just, you need an extra opportunity to work out, come and be in here. I am not going to, uh, I'm not going to try and convert you or anything. We just do dancing and to Christian music. That's it. We don't do anything else. We don't do a Bible study with it. We don't have time. We got to hurry up and get it done. And then Zumba happens right after. So please come. Please invite your friends if you have friends who have been looking for a fitness opportunity, especially one that is, um, you know, everything's, the music is all clean and uh, there's nothing real sexy about it. We still have fun. We still shake our booties, but, you know, it's not quite like the flavor that you get at Zumba. It's a little different, but it's still a lot of fun. I'm not saying it's any less than. It is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, I will say that because of the song choices, of the, it's a little bit more uh, muscle group focused. And what I mean by that is, um, if you are familiar with my uh, Zumba career, I have done some online training in core and uh, glutes, muscle group, uh, real specific. You know, some, so some of our songs are a little bit more exercise-y. Um, they're fitness, more fitness-based songs than, in, than uh, quite as dancey, but you will get uh, a, definitely a good workout. You'll get, you'll sweat. Um, so it's not quite as high-level cardio, but it's a little bit more higher level as far as muscle toning. So, you know, it's a little bit more squats, but they're not, it's not, you know, we're not just squatting and squatting and squatting, okay? It's still dancing. So you're going to get a little bit more uh, ab work, a little bit, you know, that whole core work, not just abs, the whole core work and also the glutes, which is, you know, you gotta, got to make everything work right. So it's a lot of fun. You still have a good exercise, you know, and, and if you want to stay and do Zumba, you can do both. I have probably more than half the class stays and does both. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a good time. We have uh, a good group that has been coming. We want to build it up and get it bigger and bigger. If we get to the point where I have, you know, if I'm if I'm getting 10 people on a regular basis, maybe we'll do it every week. If, you know, I'm the only thing that I was worried about when we started was that it was going to take away from Zumba. And like I said, half the people, are, at least half the people or more, are staying for Zumba too. And I've been having, you know, uh, I used to have two or three people, sometimes four people, and um, I've been having seven or eight people, you know, so, or 
about, well, I think I had five or six today. But, you know, if we keep, if it keeps growing, we will continue and make it bigger. And that's what I want to say. I want to see this grow because I feel like that's something that God has put on my heart to grow soul glow and enrich people's spiritual lives as well as your physical and mental. Um, we know that there's all these different aspects of health. You have your physical health, you know, and your mental health, and you have your, also your spiritual health, and you've got to take care of all of them. And so Soul Glow is an opportunity to take care of your spiritual health a little bit. Um, I'm a big fan of corporate worship, right? Going to church on Sunday, I'm a pastor's wife, so that's just me. I, I feel like there's a lot of value in going to church on Sunday because it helps you to focus and be in your, your moment, in your bubble with God and have your time with Him and have the opportunity to praise and really think about what's going on in your life, where you feel blessed, where you feel you need some personal growth, stuff like that. And if you are, it's just like with fitness, if you're trying to work out to a videotape, we don't have videotapes anymore, right? Uh, if you're trying to work, that's the olden days. If you're trying to work out to a DVD at home or a, you know, um, Xbox Connect or one of these things, those are fun, but how long do those really last for you? I mean, are you really coming back and doing this every, every day? Maybe for a while, but that couch is right there. It's too much temptation. Being in a room with a group of people, that accountability, that's what makes you want to come back. Um, knowing that the teacher, like me, is looking forward to seeing you, because I love all your smiling faces, and I like talking to you before and after class. It's a lot of fun. So. Being in a group, it really helps you to focus. You do better. I do better. I do better teaching and participating in somebody else's class who is teaching than I do at home. And I'm an instructor. I know how to do it. Like I, even when I'm trying to pretend that I'm teaching at home, when I'm trying to practice for when I'm in here, I learn my songs, my choreography. I learn it better after I start teaching it in my class because I'm here in the group and that accountability of we're all together and we're dancing together, it really, that really is the uh, catalyst for your fitness success, okay? So by the same tone, token, uh, the going in being in a group in corporate worship at church it's the same kind of thing, that accountability, that, uh, you know, the family feeling of being together, being united. We're united here in our fitness. We're united in church. I keep going this way because the cross is that way, but also the church is over there. Um, we're united in our worship. So that bringing it together, bringing everyone together is what really amplifies what we are getting out of the experience and what we are putting into the experience because church is not all about you. It's all about God. But when you're in here, this fitness, you're not here for me. I'm, I'm overjoyed to see you, but you're here for you and I'm here for you and I want you guys to get the most out of it. And being in here for soul glow, it puts it together. You have this corporate worship type of experience, but we're, we don't share the peace, so it's totally safe even for Lutherans. You can come. <laughs> I'm making fun of my people. I'm sorry, but it's true. We're so introverted. It's pathetic, but I am introverted, so it's okay. Um, but you can come. We want, you know, we won't share the peace, but we will have a lot of fun and you know, nobody, nobody's in here, you know, asking to be baptized or anything. We're just dancing and having fun, but we're also hearing, like I said, these beautiful messages in the songs, and it is a wonderful opportunity to have a moment in your mind with other people, and, you know, and we're all in here with our praise and our worship and our prayers and our, our hearts are wide open in this music 
And if you already are somebody who listens to one of the Christian radio stations like Life Songs or K-Love, and Life Songs is a local one, um, you will hear some of the songs that we're going to do in class. So I hope that you come. I hope that you have fun. And I hope that you invite friends. If you're a little nervous about coming and you've never been in my, one of my classes before, but you're interested, bring a friend. Having somebody, having a buddy always helps it helps you feel more comfortable about coming it's also good for accountability as well because if you are sort of counting on each other to say hey are we going to class let's go to class we should go to class motivate each other it'll help you get here it'll help it'll help me to to have your beautiful faces as I always say the more the merrier our bigger class the bigger classes the more exciting it is the more fun it is because it builds it's that group focus the mentality of um, building each other up and getting excited. That can also be a negative thing in some respects. You've heard of mob mentality, but we can make it a positive thing. So let's get over here and get our praise on two Saturdays a month in the summer. So just check my schedule and you will see when it is. I'm not going to list them again. So you guys have a great week. Today's Saturday right now. so saying have a great week and I will see you next time I hope I see you here okay so God bless tell everybody about Soul Glow come to class it's on Saturdays at 9 15 if I didn't mention that but check the schedule thank you